Welcome back to Drive Electric. In today's video, we're going to give you 10 reasons, plus or minus a few, that you should be considering an electric vehicle for your next purchase. So without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. The very first thing that I look at when considering an electric vehicle is going to be the convenience. Simply plug up at home. You have no more gas station visits. The convenience of being able to park your car in the driveway or in the parking lot or the parking garage, plug it up, and then when you wake up every single morning, you have a full tank of gas or a full charge, in other words, is unbelievably convenient. I didn't quite realize how much I would like that until starting to drive my brand new F-150 Lightning. Next up would be the lower operating cost. Now I realized that I would save a little bit money, but I didn't quite understand how much. And so think about it this way, in a normal F-150, an internal combustion engine, ICE for short, you've got oil changes that need to happen. You've got spark plugs that need to be changed every so often. You have transmission fluid that needs to be changed, rear end fluid that needs to be changed, front end fluid that needs to be changed. It can get out of hand pretty quickly. And so it's really nice to have that lower operating cost on an electric vehicle. Really, all you have to do is rotate the tires, and especially since you've got uh, your regenerative braking, you don't have to worry about your brakes fading nearly as fast as well. Now, if it sounds like I am just a straight up fanboy for electric vehicles, I want to set the record straight. I look at both the internal combustion engine and the electric vehicle, um, not equal, because this is obviously an electric channel, but coming from me and kind of letting you know who my perspective is, I also have a Ford Bronco that gets 15 miles per gallon, smiles per gallon. <laughs> and so just to understand that I am one of those people that looks at an electric vehicle, looks at a gas vehicle and says, okay, what's the right tool to get the job done? There is no bias on this channel. But the other thing that I absolutely love about an electric vehicle is going to be the instant torque. Uh, and with that instant torque, you've also got more power in most situations. My F-150 Lightning is 1.3 seconds faster than the F-150 Raptor 0 to 60. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Now, in addition to that, you've got the Mustang Mach-E, which is an SUV electric vehicle that Ford is offering. When you compare that to a normal Mustang GT, you know, the 5.0 sports car, it's known to go fast, the SUV is 0 0.8 seconds fast. It's almost a full second faster, zero to 60, than the sports car. The SUV is faster than the sports car. Now, I, and I know that Ford is just getting tapped into this. Tesla makes some stupid level power with the Tesla Model X Plaid and the Tesla Model S Plaid. Those things put down some crazy zero to 60 times, but you know, uh, it's just, the instant torque is insane. The next reason you should consider buying an electric vehicle is going to be the quietness of the vehicle. Keep in mind that in a normal ICE vehicle, you've got gasoline exploding inside the engine, you've got vehicles rumbling, and you know it makes a lot more noise. But when you get into that electric vehicle, you know the, all of those non-moving parts make for a significantly quieter ride. And a quiet ride makes you feel like it's better quality even if it is not. So the quietness, being able to hear your whole family inside of the vehicle, that is an upside. Now, a shameless plug to our other video is 10 reasons you should stay away from an electric vehicle. One of those is, is you also lose the exhaust sound. You Sometimes people say that an electric vehicle sounds and feels like it has no soul. Now, shameless plug, if you want to watch that video, it's going to be linked down below the like button, so we appreciate you checking that one out. But getting back to the things that we love about the electric vehicle, the smoothness. So keep in mind, there is no transmission in most electric vehicles. In my F-150 Lightning, I hit the gas, Elect <laughs> accelerator pedal rather, uh, I hit the accelerator pedal and I can go zero to 100 miles an hour and there's no shifts, no, no transmission. It's just consistent, smooth power. It's not just raw, na nasty, like make you want to lose your mind speed, but the, the smoothness in which you can accelerate is just something very, very different. If you've not driven an electric vehicle, I highly recommend you take one on a test drive or borrow a buddy's so you can really understand what I'm talking about. Over the air updates, that is a big, big benefit for a lot of electric vehicles. 
Tesla, I believe, kind of rolled this thing out in most of their vehicles. Now Ford is jumping on board, not just with EV, so this really isn't just an EV only benefit, but Ford is really picking up on it with uh, the obviously the Lightning, the Mach E, uh, but even my wife's Ford Expedition gets over the air updates where they say that 100% of the modules are completely updatable remotely from Dearborn. How cool is that? And I've actually gotten fundamental improvements on my vehicles based on those over the air updates. And so, although that's not a electric vehicle exclusive, it is a fantastic feature that manufacturers really should start adopting more. Tax credits. Should I, should I say any more? <laughs> now keep in mind, there's a lot of different moving pieces with tax credits. There's some old tax credits that are going out and you've got some new tax credits going in. This is not a political channel and we never will be, but it is nice to know that there are some tax credits that are available depending on lots of different variables as found right there on the screen. Now in full disclosure, please consult with your accountant before making any decisions based on what you saw from an idiot on a YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyways, next up is handling. Keep in mind that an electric vehicle, the weight of that vehicle is nice and down low because the vehicle has got a massive battery pack in most situations. In most situations, that battery pack is underneath you. In the F-150 Lightning, it's found in between the frame rails of the vehicle. And since you're sitting on top of all of that heavy weight, that, that low center of gravity is gonna allow you to take corners at a significantly higher pace. It's weird driving a pickup truck that handles more like a sports car. Now, I am a good old boy that lives in Alabama, so this next one doesn't apply to me, but if you live in California or one of those similar types of states, you have the ability to drive solo in the carpool lane if you get the right sticker after you've purchased an electric vehicle, and I can understand that can save you a lot of time on your morning and afternoon commute. Extra storage. No engine up front means it's gonna have a very large front trunk. I know I keep bringing up the F-150 Lightning, but this applies on everything. Because you don't have some massive 5.0 V8 up front, you have this ability where you can place up to 400 pounds worth of weight in the front trunk of that F-150 Lightning. Got a lot of space up there. And you've even got scales, depending on which Lightning you get. You've got scales that can weigh it up front for you so you can make sure you're not going over payload capacity. How cool is that? One pedal driving. I originally hated it in my F-150 Lightning, and then I forced myself to drive it for 30 or 60 days on the one pedal driving, and now anytime I get into any other vehicle that doesn't have it, I'm freaking out because why do, <laughs> it's not slowing down when I let off the accelerator. No, all, all jokes aside, the one pedal driving is amazing because you're not having to move your foot back and forth from the brake to the gas or accelerator, pardon my French, I'm sorry, I'm a redneck and I've called it the gas pedal my whole life. But anyways, the idea there is you have one pedal to drive. You don't have all this back and forth. Once you get used to it, it is a game changer. Lastly, you have zero tailpipe emissions coming out of an electric vehicle because there is no internal combustion engine. Now, some people would argue that the electric vehicle is not nearly as friendly for the environment as some would imagine, because keep in mind, you have to mine the minerals for the battery, and you also have to produce the electricity somehow. But keep in mind that you're not going to be creating any emissions directly out of the tailpipe. And to me, that is somewhat of a benefit. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you check out 10 reasons you should stay away from an EV. That is going to be linked down below the like button. Have a great day. Peace.